All right, thanks for tuning in for my Wednesday development stream. Um, so Wednesdays I work on the Drupal 10 readiness stuff. Usually it's PHP stand Drupal, which I'm actually repping the PHP stand shirt today. It finally came in. Um, but today I'm going to work on upgrade status. And upgrade status is a module that runs PHP stand, but also does some staple checks in Drupal that can't be done via static analysis. And the idea is that you have upgrade status and that helps you determine your upgrade status for the next major version of Drupal core. And we've got a fun bug where, where the PHP binary can't be found. And this all ties back to a fix we added some time ago. Let's see if I can pull up the annotation. So back in November, we used the symphony process component to find the PHP binary and make sure that it was using the same one used by the web server. Um, and this is just not working for some reason for some people. And it should be straightforward, like PHP executable, finder, and go. But this is not the case apparently, and we're having people report bugs. So we're gonna dig into it. Um, this it should support Across, like across windows and everything else, but that's not the case. Um, so here it says installed and row 55. So if binary is false, if bender is null, otherwise use the bin directory. And oh, I did touch that base on this five months ago. Um, yeah, like if is executable bender dot, it's weird, like it checks for this inside of um, the symphony process itself. So like they're saying that we need to have this check. I'm just gonna go ahead and update it. But we can see here, let's close this annotation. But we can see here that inside find, we have the same check where it scans that directory. Although I guess the one problem is, oh, that's weird. So in their case, Bender was actually the executable. Um, I'm gonna try to just take stock of this. So that's comment number three, PHP Bender was actually the executable. All right, and let's see if I can maybe hunt this person down. Probably not due to time difference. So checks if PHP constant is available, and this should be, I think that's the right one, user bin, where the binaries are installed to. So that's, again, that shouldn't work. Um, why isn't that too? Same thing on Linux production host. Okay, so this happened on Linux with a jailed PHP CLI. VirtualBox, Ansible on Mac OS. Um, let's see. I guess one thing we could do is specify the path, like make it a setting if it can't be detected. Number three is working for me. That's so weird. Um, let's look that up. So PHP, let's, I, I need to read up more up on this constant while we go into it. On Windows, incorrect. Prefers PHP and system path instead of value set to Move all call to get PHP. Let's see what WordPress does too. Um, all right, incorrect. Vendor, but PHP binary. So that's one that is right there. Set on runtime, 
set a compile time. Um, this is closed, will be fixed in. And that's old. I remember looking at that. This is old as well. Oh, let's do WordPress. How do you WordPress code? Maybe that's not actually a function. So skip that. Just stop. Um, all right. Uh, that could be, oh, could that be one? Because it's a different package? No, that shouldn't be it. All right, I think we just got to make it a setting. Um, I'm able to change. I'm only going to fix when I change in ISP config with fast CGI. Number 12 is working. What did they change here? PHP binary. Inner 8. CLI. CLI server. That's the same. I don't understand. Um, <laughs> all right, super low 95. What was their issue? Okay, so there's that issue. Directories attempt to run a PHP, PHP directory. Okay, there's a problem for Windows users, seems to be different. Uh, no backslash. Oh, no, to that being like a WordPress function, I'm assuming. Um, oh, no backslash. That's the difference. That's so weird, though. Like, why would that? That shouldn't matter because all that means is, um, that's a good question. I'm going to do, um, number 12 is the main difference removing the backslash. Um, I guess we need, what did we do beforehand? How did this work? It just did this PHP path. Trim the bin directory. Oh, command, it just did this bin path without calling PHP. There was a reason for this though. Let's see. Drupal.org slash I. So in PHP, when you have the backslash, that just means like it's the root namespace. It's not really needed, but it can be like a micro optimization for op cache. Why? The following would work given it should be a constant set at compile, which is a directory, not a binary path. Um, let's see, when running upgrade status, I received errors, permission denied. Oh, that's right, because I was trying to execute it directly. And by doing, by running it with PHP, we bypassed some issues. And by doing that, we also created more bugs. So, hooray. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so these two, are having directory. Right. I think the next step is to tackle 
because I'm not sure what's going on here exactly. I don't understand how number three or let's see, number three or number 12 could work. So let's switch over. All right. So, twelve. Let's look at this for PHP directory attempted to be used. Um. Okay. So, command failed. Op plus PHP bin. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and the same problem, except for user bin one. Um, there's got to be. Let's see, I'm doing this on my own time. Um, I'm looking into this now. All right, so let's go github.com, symphony. Symphony. And let's read this code again. So, how could this return? Return PHP. If not executable. All right. So, if PHP binary, get the. If it's not executable, it finds it. Turn PHP. This executable find. Problem is that this is all Linux based. So that should be user bin, which user bin is what this binder should be reporting. Let's see. Based on the error output, it looks like this section of the code is being returned. But for some reason, B is not getting the appropriate. Um, string concatenated. Let's see here. Let's copy. Let's do some playing around in PHP itself. So I'm going to open my terminal. Actually, I'm just going to open iTerm. Let's make it a bit bigger. So let's open up an interactive PHP shell. So let's do a bear export. So bin, so PHP binder gives us that. Now let's do this. Let's export this. Bear export. So that, that appends it. I don't know, understand how they could be getting somewhere. Is everything checks is executable. Do there ex, I guess echo. Actually, when reading any of the code, I do not know how just a directory could could be returned. Like I am just absolutely confused how a library from Symphony, which is heavily tested, has this many bugs with when we start introducing it. Um, Plask. Uh, all right. So let's do 
let's try this out. Um, Plask PHP binary. Let's go to issues. How to configure command line version for SSH user. It's user bin. Otherwise it should go here. That's not at all. Um, let's try putting quotes around it and maybe just ditching brave search for this. Use composer path to PHP binary. Let's go to Google. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Let's miss that. Let's do, let's see. Uh, plus PHP binary. Search for, here we go. Let's see. Counting. Uh, it's not a bug, but what Laravel and have been used for console. You can check PHP configuration. And that doesn't exactly help. PHP script's not even running as root. Here we go. Let's see. Like, this can't be just us. That's the problem, is it's not just us. Um, that's not it. All right, here we go. Solved it myself. I had something wrong with my dot, dot .env file, which messed up my PHP path. That's... Um, that doesn't help too much. I solved it, the run.env file. That, okay, that's not doing it. Here we go. Okay, I have found some relevant items based on Laravel. Let's copy that, Stack Overflow. Solved myself, I just, oh man, this stupid sites that copy Stack Overflow. Found a relevant item, Stack Overflow. They had to set the PHP binary environment variable selves. However, Drupal doesn't use code.env files. Um, does this answer? No, path is configured as described in link question. Does this answer show four more comments? Um, let me compose our update. All right, let's see. Bash, Laravel. Um, let's see. No, that's not it. Option serve. So for some reason, why can't we get the PHP binary to work correctly? Visits log doesn't work. Again here, that has I just, I don't understand how this can even be possible. Uh, 
Um, I how I don't still don't understand how this can be happening. Um. And then, unfortunately, I don't even have a Windows computer to test this one out. Okay, directory. So this binary is false. But how? I just don't understand how this can be happening. So let's go look at the Symphony issue queue. Um, this is like how? And then let's look at the Laravel is a dumpster fire because they close everything right away. There's no issues. Hold on. What? What do you mean you can't open? Oh, framework. My bad. I know they, they like to get to issue zero a lot, so they just close everything that gets open and call it a support request. But let's see. Fortify scan. Um, a lot of arguments past the binary when scheduling tasks. Um, that's nothing. Um, schedule, close this. Nope. All right, so not in there. The find function in attempts to find executables outside the open baster array if it's set, um, which causes errors. I honestly think, okay, for example, when you want PHP and FPM, assuming that there gets extra directories, put that directory path. I think we just got to make it a seven. So that will just solve all of these problems. Um, but one thing I got to see here is trying to analyze, get this error. However, I run the same command without the, it appears to not be a PHP script, rather a shell script. And let's look at our then PHP stand. We should execute against the far directly, I bet. Okay. Um, this is the root issue. All right, I'm just gonna work on this here and let's relate all these together. Related issue. Save, and this isn't related either. We're gonna close those. And let's get an issue, let's get the issue fork added and I'll start trying to get to work on this, so. Checked out that branch. Now, if we go to PHP stand.dev, one thing I think we can do is, um, <coughs> excuse me, is call PHP stand.far immediately, um, because that's exactly what, I guess not entirely. One second. All right. So let's try. I'm going to push one 
fix up for this. And what we're gonna try to do the PHP stand, bin path, PHP stand dot far. So that will make it. So if we do PHP vendor bin, PHP stand dot far, that could help solve some of these problems, not all of them. And so we do far analyze web modules contrib custom or contrib upgrade status. What do I have in here? Oh, level zero. Okay. All right. So that will work. That should help with um who do you call them? Windows users. So get diff. Hit commit AV, invoke PHP stand dot far, hopefully mitigate bugs for Windows users. Hit push. And with that, what I'm going to comment on is I'm going to reload this. Shell script and shell script on Windows. Let's see. Um, let's copy view file at dot far dot far. And you try manually adjusting the code to a proof of concept I'm working on. Um, what is this called? Update the analyze function to call controller php stand dot Far, far, far over just PHP stand. The latter is a script, the former is the PHP archive and may remove the bugs on Windows systems. So, with this, that postpone maintainer needs more info. Because we want to do to detect it if running in CY Gin where the PHP send executed was a shell script. Let's try that. Let's execute the FAR directly. I want my terminal locked up. Oh, my PHP stand is out of date. All right. Anyway, I think that will work for that. Um, shoot, where did I create? Oh, there's that issue. Sorry. All right. Um, I'm just so confused. I'm still so confused by this. So that should fix the Windows one. I want to try to check. Um, this init environment, find PHP path. Is this used anywhere else? This has got to be used somewhere else in Drupal. Server command, build test base. All right, quick start test. With PHP, generate theme test. It's all here, like in the build test base, like I don't understand how it's so broken when it's used everywhere. Like PHP Finder, PHP Unit Test Runner. Where? Oh. All right, 
let's see. The file in Composer's bin directory is a next link, which does not work when extracted from a tarball and generally not on Windows, but that's okay because we're doing something different. It is necessary to run a script using PHP executable. Great, that's what we're doing. Um, just how can this be so broken? Symphony three. Let's do what is jailed PHP CLI. And in the meantime, let's just go install settings, pass for scan. Let's go add um, PHP first jail. What does this do? So download, make it available for newly jailed users executables so maybe that's why but how could it have been working before um all right i want to go back to see what it was like beforehand Let's go to drupal.org. Let's go back to this issue again. My idea is to maybe instead of throwing an exception when we can't find the binary, is we fall back to the old way and let's fall back to the old way. Mm -hmm. Trim, what did we do here? So this command, this bin path, PHP stand, analyze. But this is gonna cause other issues too. Permission denied. Um, let's see, paste the error. Oh, that's one. Okay, so there's some issues because Composer is updated. So there's conflated problems between PHP unit and being able to execute. Um, permission denied on .sh. All right. So that was the issue. So there was the .sh that was being that was not working. Um, Number 30 brings up a great point about permissions. A drush in PHP FPM, instead of using PHP sand command with SH show, it was a PHP binary. And that solved some bugs, but made more. Good. I want my chair move. All right. Um, I guess what we'll have to do is create a settings file that lets people set the PHP version instead of trying to figure out a way for it to work. 
um, open base directory. And this is the files that can be accessed by PHP to specify directory tree. So I think that is when a script tries to use the access the file system using include or file open. Um, Windows, yeah, we just gotta come up with a way to make that setting. And I believe our configuration is already in here, maybe. File system, time, finder, pass per scan. Oh, where's that used even? It's not used. All right, form. Wait a second, routing. Is there a settings form anywhere? I don't think so. Shoot. <laughs> Use ISB config and PHP 7.4. What is ISP config? Hosting panel. Oh boy. There's probably no way to easily get the site on with these. Directory, just why? Why would this be happening? Oh, shoot. You know what? Let's, I want to try something out. I wonder if, um, all right, let's do print. Get current working directory. Let's try something out here. I have an idea. So let's do PHP A. Their dump. Get PHP. PHP path. Let's find a PHP path, bind. Now, um, true, there we go. Um, PHP unit that XML, false. Vendor, true. Well, that's, that makes sense. Well, I just thought of something. Directories are executable. So no wonder, wonder why it passes. So let's go to Symphony. Let's open, I, I'm gonna open an issue on this because that's a bug and I don't know how to fix it, but they, we need like is directory checks. Um, new issue, bug reports. Um, may return directory instead of binary. Symphony version is affected. We got, um, we got three and four dot four, three dot four to four dot four. Um, we're using, let's copy this. We're using da, 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 in Drupal's upgrade. 
status module to execute PHP stand from a UI in different environments, leveraging Plesk or ISP config, the returned path from find is a directory. How to reproduce. Um, so they're on a, in this case, nope, that was um, Plesk. I haven't been able to reproduce since I do not, I do not have access to a Plesk server, but when running, um, PHP path, PHP pair bin, bin directory. Let's do um, PHP binary, PHP binder. That's this. It. Let's do uh, echo. find I don't know what could happen or how this could happen but directories are technically executable <coughs> excuse me there Um, let's return PHP if executable command let's see so ah uh, the checks for is executable they need a uh, is directory check submit new issue i opened an issue on issue in symphony to try to crack So what we need to do is if it's a directory, um, if binary or is, let's work around it here and Actually, what I need to do is stop conflating the two issues. Um, so I made the merge, the pull request here, but I guess I should actually make it against, should make one for this directory issue. Okay. So let's instead go to this directory one and I'm going to solve this. So that unable to scan, move that. That's actually going to fix the windows, but let's go check out, get check out 8.4.x. Oh, it's 3.x. 3.x. Get stash. Stash those changes. And check out this branch. All right. And then get stash pop. Okay. So if it's a directory, um, see for some environments, a directory is being returned. 
for some reason the PHP binary directory is being returned instead of the binary path itself. Is this one we need to add a comma? Um, if directories are executable, so the finder is returning incorrectly. Try to fix that here. So if it is a directory. We're going to say binary equals PHP. That equals PHP. And I think that's what somebody alluded to here. Um, is that somewhere? Okay, super lolo. That was reported here. Okay, Plesk. It seems like a Plesk issue. From these comments, it looks like an issue on Plesk based shared hosting. Comment that. All right. So we got there. So is binary. And then if is file binary and is executable, right? Because in here they use the at. No, they did not use the at. They used it there. So if so if it is not file or is not executable binary so a new exception so PHP binary was not found assumed um That gives some context there. So if not executable, why is it indexing the stubs? It's not supposed to in index the stubs. Let's get status, get commit AV, um, add a workaround for when a directory is returned from Let's just say that. Push. All right. Hopefully this can um, fix the error for directory on Plesk. Let's open a merge request. open let's mark this as needs review okay i made an mr with this change if the let's copy php executable finder returns a directory we we try to to append code slash php to determine as the binary path this matches this matches the workaround in upgrade status 18 
So I hope this can fix this issue. Um, let's go ahead and find the Windows issue. And create the issue fork. Check out 8.3dex. Actually, I don't think I need to do that because it already has the branch remotely. So what I'm going to do is actually cherry pick this commit into the specific issue. Um, Get cherry pick, get push. Let's open the merge request and change this to be user view. Actually, I opened a merge request with that change to code php stand bar so we can test that here directly and verify it solves window user problems all right so we got that one with review and this is not review. What I should do here is update um, if you were experiencing problems of the PHP binary coming back as a directory, please test the Mer, merge request proposed fix in if you are on windows and having issues can you try the mer proposed fix in this issue if you execute the far directly versus wrapping script I think that's about all I can do for this. Does this happen in, no, not PHP stand, PHP stand source. In. Yeah, PHP Stan. I don't think PHP Stan has anything specific in here. No. I don't know where this is coming from. I yeah, I don't know what that is. So that, I guess, tar okay, so targeting the far here should fix windows. Um, so that should fix windows. This should have fixed the problem where it gets a directory instead of um, what do you want to call it? Instead of an actual binary. But this is a whole other problem where, let's see now, only fix this change with return 
binary.args. I'm using ISP config number three is when why would <laughs> the good question is why would bin directory return like a binary that makes no sense to me so is this passing it's running right now So I guess that really is all I can do right now. Um, except for making sure I have this covered. This one, I don't, can't figure out. Same thing, Linux on production host. With a jailed PHP Silli. Um, and with a jailed CLI, that could cause the scan to break. So let's search this again. Let's do actually Laravel jailed PHP CLI. Uh, enable fallback mixing, sure. Checking for PHP executable. All right, so here we go. Um, facing a strange item open baster restriction in effect so that'd be good for errors um although i guess if it's silenced that won't do anything and this was fixed this should have been fixed and commit and is file Defined PHP binary removed is file. Oh, because is file is breaking things. Well, shoot. Um, fixes Let's do um, symphony issues one second specifies the php binary path through an execution script there's no need to check if file exists because we're using cli because if we are using cli we already have used a binary um Uses Composer to update the installation. Can tell is using binaries. If the open base there's a set is file is false. Um, shoot. Which if people aren't checking their errors, they're gonna have no idea. Although, wait. Oh, this only runs if you're on the command line. That's it. Um, yeah, so this is only if you're in the command line. So never mind. That's not quite it. Um...
think this has been beat about as much as I can. And we'll just have to ask a board to review these. One thing I did think about though is GitHub window GitHub actions windows. is you can run GitHub Actions on Windows. And I wonder if we could um, test this. Additional included. Uh, uh, I guess Windows is free to run. Free. But that doesn't help these other issues, though. So I'm just going to ignore that. Um, yeah. I'm going to just quick drop some links into Drupal Slack, but in another tab. All right. Ah, okay. Actually, I don't need to drop those in Slack. Um, all right, let's go look at some of the other issues. And I want to mark this postponed. Needs more info. We still need more info, such as if the there are what was that thing called? Uh, PHP open base there. Errors due to, let's see, please. Especially if the two if the two previously linked issues do not resolve your problems. All right. We need to postpone it. Needs more info. Because I don't know. And then we'll see what else there is in upgrade status to help out with. Um, check for deprecated requirements, access checks. So we found out that there were Deprecated checks, or there was deprecations to routes. So get this, get all routing files, globs it. Glob, get all routing files in that directory. I feel like, why not use? So the router. I'm gonna so let's do this. How do we how do you get to get match request, add route filter, get route collection? This should be it. Um find usages. Oh, 
stuff. That's actually a lot of usages. Um, lazy rock collection provider get iterated this all this provider get wrote by names this routes this preload routes is this where it needs to be route provider um Actually, a good way to check this is let's look at the development module because the development module can act, actually has a way to list and debug all of the menus or the routes. Route info controller. There we go. Let's copy the reference, and that's gonna be my note. There is. Should we be loading and I guess that's going to be my should we be taking this approach or using get all routes to inspect the compiled routes. What if someone what if something is dynamically building routes? That's it, dynamically building routes and attaching these. Um, but this says needs work. This doesn't handle dynamically declared routes, such as routes provided by entity type link handlers route handlers whatever it's called um so i'm gonna go ahead and work on this too go ahead do an issue fork Check out the branch. I'm gonna go ahead and take Gabor's last patch though. Curl get v status and commit um patch number six. <coughs> Now I'm going to update it a little bit. So route deprecation analyzer, private, um, what was that class called? Route provider interface. Why would I close this? Route info. It's the route provider. Let's do some good old copy paste. route provider and that means now i need to add a constructor <laughs> provider interface provider <laughs> can't wait for php 8 and just promoted constructors It'll be, or yeah, promoted constructor parameters, however you want to call it. It's so much easier here. So construct some new, blah, 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 object. Um, so new route provider. So what we need to do is to do, do, do. <coughs> excuse me. We need to route, get requirements. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Um, where's the change record at? Let's see here. So, okay, so it was a requirement. And then the entity access. So let's do, we can do this. So if, so we can say if, Route has requirement. This route has requirement. There we go. Right. Why is this getting angry at me? Undefined constant. Oh, it's just late to scan. Um, extension oh shoot that's why um hmm. i see because it's intended to only scan per extension that's not the best so no get path there's no way to know. I don't think there is a way to know. Ddev describe. Do I have this running yet? Ddev start. So the problem is that this just is all routes and we want to actually filter it based off of get routes by name, get routes by pattern, get routes that match certain pattern by names, get route by names, get route collection for request. All right, so this, hopefully it's not dead. I haven't used this environment in a while. Um, but shoot, I'm pretty sure that we don't know who defines a route um, route provider interface. So let's go through here. Route provider. Preload routes. This cache, this query get. Route preloader. Route lazy builder. Let's go to the route builder. Loads. Rebuild. This get route definitions. Add collection. This route definitions. Finds all the routing files. As routes. And if routes has a routes callback. Defaults, requirements, host schemes, methods, compiler class, route compiler class. All right, Drupal provides its own compiler. That's good, because that means that, oh, I was hoping we could see the defining module. All right, let's go to class info. This could be bad. Um, or not bad, it's just we're not going to be able to do like I was hoping because there's no way to know. Um, let's wait for this to load. All right, let's just test it with upgrade status and let's do the devel so compiled route fit 30 variables project machine name tokens yeah that's not right, variables yeah, there's no way to know if this was defined by Oh man. I'm 
shoot. Oh, provider. So that's the problem. Route builder gets the route definitions for that module. And then it does the build and does the callbacks. And then does the dispatch for building and alter. All right, I'm just gonna have to set this back. Um, uh, putting back to needs review. This is a good start. Uh, put it back to news review. Um, I realized the problem with get all routes is that we cannot filter routes down to the one being provided by an extension. It seems like we need to have I don't even know we need to have a global check versus just per module Um, because routes, routes are usually prefixed with the module name, commonly, it's not a set pattern though, um, like, so if we go to routing, usually it's always prefixed with, what if we did get routes by pattern? usage well, provider get pattern outline get routes by path that just gets routes by path and that doesn't solve it because we would need to search by by path get the candidate outline parts Nope, we want to find things by names. Um, names is no. Okay, one approach would be to use the route provider, but filter out routes, which do not begin with the module's name. That assumes everyone is following pattern of namespacing route names to the module name. But I'm at least gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it at needs work. Um, this also wouldn't fix 
generated entity routes provided by this is not fixed generated entity routes provided by the modules so i think we need a so i think we need we need two checks one per extension and also a site wide check on the route known routes so let's just see um Okay, so we did cross posting. Wrote wrote the above. Wow. Posted. Seems like we really need a mix of both. Um, maybe we keep the, okay. So what we should do is, um, I guess what we need to do is undo my changes. What I think we need to do. Keep your keep the original patch which globs files and inspects them for individual analysis. Add a site wide routes check to verify all known routes are okay. I think that's what we'll have to do, but the problem is that if we go to manage reports, <coughs> excuse me. So we go to upgrade status. There isn't a way to run to run just like a stateful check um scan collaborate with maintainers so let's do uh this form, upgrade status form, what is this called? It's not. Upgrades to Drupal 10, where does this keep going? Next major is equal to 10. Rows, PHP requirement, database type. Permissions, all permissions. So I guess we could do it, collect core deprecated or obsolete extensions. Um, so, ah, shoot. So that's one problem is we don't have we don't have a paradigm for this yet. Um, 
All right, well, I'm going to skip that then because that just went hot. Um, let's see. Returns error. Project not is not compatible with version majors.00. Um, is running an error with a valid core version requirements. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, so it's not supporting. Wait, why would that not be? How do you check the project compatible some version of? So why, why? How is that not valid? There's gotta be a test. I hope there's a test. Source, kernel test, some twig. Oh, where's this come from? Project collector, get core major version. Wait a second, we should. Constraints. Oh, is compatible with next major. Drupal, we should get, we gotta get tests on this. All right. This needs unit tests. Turn constraints. How does this get used? I'm gonna just get into a branch. This can be unit tested. So let's go ahead and make file unit um, project collector. Test PHP. Let's try something out. Space Drupal test upgrade status unit final class project collector test extends unit test case group upgrade status. Let's test public function test is compatible with void and return bool. So let's do a string constraint bool expected public function uh, let's do compatible with next with next major Drupal provider ray data provider Right. So we're going to test this out. Oh, wait a second. This is going to be testing against self git Drupal core major version. Um, hmm. 
which is currently 9.3. So this is actually hard to test because um well shoot let's do php reflection modify class constant value maybe we can do some trickery here um, we redefine a constant in php Try myself. Do, 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 do. No, I want to do a class constants. Mm. Reflection class. Let's abstract. Okay, let's do. Um, all right, let's try something out. I guess we know that we're on 9.3, so this should work. So let's just go. Let's do self assert equals. What? Why is this not? Oh, shoot. Um. The composer require dash dash dev Drupal core dev. W. So the dash capital W lets you say yes, override existing um, libraries. So that should make this work. So we'll do self assert equals expected and project collector. Is compatible. Strength. Gotta wait for the index. And the only problem is that we don't have a lot of workflows, so we can't easily modify the constant. Need to access constant name, get constant. We'll see if we can modify. Why is this broken? I had PHP. I must have had to disable it for some reason. Input the class. Oh, that's right. Need the bridge. Now let's run it and it should be okay. So why, wait, where did this come back as invalid? Value of is not compatible with the next version of Drupal core. However, So the second one should fail because we're not in or it passes uh huh well, that's not what i would expect let's drop a breakpoint and debug that so 9.3 or 10 
So version parser, provider. So version 10, new constraint, parse constraints. So what's the parse constraints is 9.3, constraint is 9.3 dev or 10, 11. Oh, what? Um, let's change this to 10.0. Why did that didn't, that's not what I would expect. Um, let me guess, let's actually just drop a breakpoint here or rather just return. So parse constraints. Okay. So yeah, 11, I guess. Yeah. It has to be less than 11. And greater than 10 um, matches. <laughs> Turn true. Provider. Constraint. Yeah, operators greater than or equal to 10, but All right, let's do the um, eight, let's do this classic one. Nine, one of these has got to fail. That should fail. Yeah, that's right. It should be. All right, so that fails because we don't have 10. And this one we could say, let's say it's just nine. All right, we'll add one that says just nine. All right, so those failed. Now let's do a Reflection equals new reflection class. Class, right? And back to the debug. Okay, so test, we got the version. It's hoping that reflection class, we could modify the constant. Because I know you're able to do that with properties. Um, Export internal has method, get method says property, reflection property, I guess get reflection constant. Ah, here we go. Wait, shoot, let's go back. Gets a reflection constant. bool export get declaring class get modifiers get value get attributes let's try And then I have to do an test. Attributes is final, it's protected. Yeah, there's no way to modify it. Dang. 
Um, because we don't have the ability to test multiple versions of Drupal core. So that's a bummer. Um, it turns, if it's not compatible with version major dot, major version. Um, uh, man, there's no easy way to test this. Um, because we can't mock that PHP unit mock static class constant. I don't think there's a way to do this. Depending on that class being available. Yeah, there's no way to do that. Um, mocking static methods with mockery. Unit testing with static variables. Alias mocks with constants on the class. Um, we're not using mockery though. Named mock. Mockery name mock. Which I don't believe that's what's being used under the hood. No, it's PHP units. Mock, mock object. Mock builder. Yeah, that'll just generate a mock of a class. Mockery. That's not going to do it. Guess what I can do is at least copy this. Um, We're updating core revision to reflect a minimum of 9.3 results in the above error. I tried to reproduce this error, but I could not. I wrote the following unit test. You know what? We can make this work. Hold on. Um, I'll have to just set a major version. So like in this one, we need it to run on eight. Um, so we'll call that eight X, we'll say nine dot X. Which in this case would be, we expect it to be false. And this would be 9.x, 9.x with 9, and this is false. Nine dot x, 9.x, and 
Let's make this be 10 dot x. We'll say that it requires, oh wait, no, I'm getting all confused reading this. Yeah, nine, this requires version nine, nine, and nine. So we can do is that's the given major and pub.com and PHP stand. I have something in my test that verifies that pulls out the first version. Source and rules. So get deprecated service rule test. Here we go. So version is not equal to major. Um, we'll say self mark to skip only runs on Drupal major. So if we run this, great. All right. So I can commit this. I'm gonna put this on as a um, issue fork. We'll do the full covers project collector. Covers is compatible. No, why is this? Why doesn't it? Oh, duh, covers default class. That would help. Um. String, the constraint, and we actually have param string major. The, the major version this can be tested on. And the expected results. So let's go ahead and push this. Copy that. the remote, check out the branch. Um, while I'm at it, let's see what else we can test in here. Is compatible with PHP 8. What is this from? Oh, composer.json require. And that's that's not as easy to test. Get all the supported major. Next step info, get plan. We'll just start it here. Um, get diff, get commit AV, test. Merge request, I'm gonna put this to need review. I'm not sure I understand, understand bug. I wrote a test which tests the following constraints against Drupal version 9 dot, what is it? Um, 9 dot 3 dot X, which 
bumps to 10.0.0.0. .0 .0. That we did the nine to ten. We did the nine dot three, but also nine dot four. These all pass. All right, we'll save that. Um, crashes Lando. Wouldn't be surprised. All right, um, all right, let's see. So hopefully this pull request helps un get some things explained. Let's see what's going on here. Read byte eight transport endpoint is not connected. Oh, this is from parallel processing. Um, PHP send is actually probably a project. Um, looking at this error, this reads like a crash in parallel processing, which PHP stand does. PHP stand does automatically. Where's the configuration? I'll look up how I how I know that. Parallel, 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 parallel processing. Maybe upgrade status should disable that by default. Uh, I know. So how I know this is if we go to PHP stand source, I don't look into this because we're having issues in Drupal core with this as well with parallel processing sometimes. So if I go to parallel, parallel analyzer, um, PHP stand uses a local TCP stream to handle concurrent and parallel parallelized processing given the error says transport endpoint is not connected i'm going to guess it guess the tcp loop tcp server used in the loop crashed All right, so let's see. So that's not memory. That means we need to, oh, where does it generate the configuration? That's right, it doesn't. It, you, it just, config. File get content, string replace. Okay, so it reads that and modifies it. So what we should do is um uh, this. <laughs> That's what we need to do. So luckily I don't need to even do this locally, I can just push it up. Um, let's go here. We can do it in the GitLab IDE. Let's open the web IDE. And edit. No errors. Parallel. Commit. Prevent parallel processing. Uh, 
we've experienced a few people where it's just gone like haywire um, on their systems. Don't know why. View, pop open and merge request. We have merge request to restrict parallel processing. Uh, all right, this is running on 9.3, and I want to actually run it against. I don't even know if this still supports Drupal 8 deprecation checks or if it's just d9 assume now but the unit test passed six passing open that build or sort by status was meaning icons use core template rather than core note set warning icons automated tests repeated key and yaml files Missing deprecation coverage. Oh, let's look at this. Um, five months ago. Let's see here. Um, while updating, I encountered two issues. Get responses is deprecated in favor of. Why wouldn't this get caught? Um, oh, because it extends. Ah. Um, let's see. Following up here, this is a reason that we need to run PHP stand at level two. It would catch these errors as they're not deprecation, but requires actual static analysis. So this deprecation, so I'm my new mission is to get PHP stand, not just running at level zero deprecation checks, but also level two. Um, so I'm gonna tag this as a related issue. And I'm probably gonna bump Drupal check to use version or level two. So save that and actually let's go to github.com and glomin Drupal check. Did I open an issue for that yet? Yep. Examples of why we need to. That's one example. I checked for ensuring this here. So this just needs tests and it exists. Um, add ability to detect deprecated hooks. That's near impossible. Um, detect context definition or entity context definition other entity manager deprecations. I don't know. That seems too hard. Um, nine JavaScript, one of all. Okay, that seems okay. What do we get? Revision author. Nope, that must be. In. Excuse me. Let's see, I know there's an issue somewhere closed. Ah, yeah, here we go. This would have also caught running at level two, would have caught that issue. I guess it's four o'clock. I'm at the end of my time. Um, I did, I guess it's a decent triage here. Oh, let's see, updated, updated. Show all issues. 
is hiding my postponed one. Um, nice find. Asking the folks who experienced the problem to please test this. Awesome. Great. Um, I didn't tag that right. Um, let's go find comment 18. Yeah, let's go fix this. There we go. So when you do like the issue ID dash comment number, it will link to that comment. Um, so there we go. So that's fixed. Shell script. There's manual testing. All right. That's just triage. Got this open. And that's about all I can get to. So thanks for hanging out. And I'll be back on Monday working on Simply Test Me. And again, next week, I'll be working on PHP Sandrupal. So have a good one.